Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're talking about something that confuses a lot of people. What's the difference between HDMI 2.0 and HDMI 2.1? If you've ever set up a new TV, gaming console or sound system and thought, why doesn't this look or sound as good as I expected? The type of HDMI you're using might be the reason. I'll explain the differences in a simple way so you know which one is best for your setup. If this video helps you out, give it a like. It really helps YouTube show it to more people. And don't forget to subscribe for more easy tech tips like this. HDMI, or High Definition Multimedia Interface, is the cable and port that carries both video and audio between your devices, like from a PS5, Xbox Series X, or Blu-ray player, to your TV or monitor. It's been the go-to connection for years, but not all HDMI ports are created equal. Newer versions unlock better picture quality, higher refresh rates, and even improve sound. That's why knowing the difference between HDMI 2.0 and 2.1 can save you frustration and possibly a lot of money. The biggest change comes down to bandwidth, basically how much data can travel through the cable at once. HDMI 2.0 tops out at 18 gigabits per second, which is enough for 4K resolution at 60 hertz with HDMI. HDR. HDMI 2.1, on the other hand, boosts that up to a massive 48 gigabits per second. This opens the door for 8K video at 60 Hz or 4K at a buttery smooth 120 Hz, perfect for next-gen gaming or high frame rate sports broadcasts. But it's not just about resolution. HDMI 2.1 adds some features that make a big difference in how content looks and feels. For example, Variable Refresh Rate, or VRR, lets your display match its refresh rate to your game's frame rate in real time, eliminating screen tearing and stutter. It's like your TV and console are finally speaking the same language. Then there's Dynamic HDR, which adjusts brightness, contrast, and color levels scene by scene for a more lifelike picture. And let's not forget EARC, Enhanced Audio Return Channel, which sends uncompressed, high-quality audio, including Dolby Atmos, straight from your TV to your sound system for a more cinematic soundstage. So, which one should you choose? If your setup is mainly for watching movies and TV shows in 4K, HDMI 2.0 is more than capable. It handles 4K streaming from Netflix, Amazon Prime, and Disney, plus just fine. But if you're into competitive gaming, planning to upgrade to 8K in the future, or simply want the smoothest possible performance, HDMI 2.1 is the smarter choice. You'll be future-proofing your setup and getting features that really enhance the experience. One thing to keep in mind, just because your TV has an HDMI 2.1 port doesn't mean every device connected will take full advantage of it. You'll need compatible cables and source devices as well. Many new TVs, high-end graphics cards, and game consoles already support HDMI 2.1, but always check the specs so you don't end up disappointed. And here's a quick tip. If you're buying new gear and you have the option, go for HDMI 2.1 now, rather than upgrading again later. The difference is especially noticeable if you play fast-paced games or watch action-heavy content. I hope this helped clear up the confusion between HDMI 2.0 and 2.1. If it did, hit that like button so more people can find this video and subscribe for more tips that make your tech setup shine. And if you're still deciding on a sound system, check out my video on Dolby Atmos versus Dolby Digital. It's linked in the top right corner. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.